So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to the link, which will be down below in the description. Now, once you're on this, you're gonna scroll down until we find both these downloads. There's gonna be 32-bit and 64-bit. To know which one that you need, you're gonna head over to search and type in system information. Click on it. And now once you're on this, next to system type, it's gonna be telling you. So I'm on 64-bit, so I need to get a 64-bit one. For you, it might be 32 or 86. That means that you need to get a 32-bit one. But most likely, you're gonna also be on 64-bit like me. So, in my case, I'm just gonna be getting a 64-bit one. I'm gonna click on download. And now it's gonna start installing automatically. And now once you have it here, you're gonna right click on it and then click on show in folder. And now once you're on this, you're gonna right click on the zip file and then click on extract all. You're gonna untick this and then click on extract. And now this will appear. And now you're gonna click on the extracted folder. And now you're gonna put this onto your desktop. Or you could just copy it if you want to. So you could just right click on it and then click on copy. And now for the last step, you're gonna head over to search and type in file explorer. Click on it. And now once you're on this on the left hand side, you wanna scroll down and click on this PC. And then you wanna find a drive where you have Windows installed on. So it's gonna be having the Windows logo on it. You wanna click on that one. And then click on Windows. And now if you downloaded the 64-bit DRL file like I did, I got the 64-bit one, then you wanna drag this file into system 32. So you wanna scroll down until you find system 32. This is for if you downloaded the 64-bit DRL file, the one that I got. So if you have the 64-bit DRL file, you wanna drag this into system 32. Continue. And if you got the 32-bit DRL file, you wanna drag that into syswile64, which is right here. So I'm gonna say that again. If you got a 64-bit DRL file, which is the one that I got, you wanna drag that into system 32. Or you could just copy and paste it inside of this folder. And if you got a 32-bit one, you wanna drag that into syswile64. And then once you do that, you just wanna restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.